everyone. It is 8 o'clock a.m. Yeah. I was supposed to wake up at 5 o'clock this morning to because Josh had to wake up for five, at 5 for work. And I was like, oh, I'll just wake up with you. And I literally could not do it. So I've just been, like, so tired yesterday and today. It's weird. Like, yesterday I got, like, I think. Like, I got, like, six or seven hours of sleep, and I was, like, exhausted, which was, like, weird. But so was Josh, so I don't know. Maybe we just, like, had a weird sleep cycle, or, like, we woke up in a deep sleep. I don't even know what happened, but, yeah. And then this, tonight, we ha I had about more than, I think I had, like, eight hours, maybe more, nine hours. I fell asleep at, like, 11, which was pretty early for us because we knew that he had to wake up at five. So, um, yeah, anyways, this morning I have some stuff to do, um, that's the reason why I'm up so early, I usually don't wake up this early, I usually wake up around like 9, so it's really not that much of a difference, I had an alarm set for 7.30, I had breakfast, I had an English muffin with egg and cheese on it, and I had a coffee, so, I woke up, like, starving, for, like, you know when you, like, eat before bed, and then your blood sugar, like, spikes, and now you're starving when you wake up, I hate that, I really hate it, and it, like, because I had, like, those sugar cookies filled with Nutella, I had that, um, right before bed, and I think it, like, makes me so hungry because of the sugar in it or something, I don't really know, hopefully the shoppers is open, But anyways, yeah. So, I should I talk to you guys. Um, I'm gonna go into shoppers real quick. I need some like paper clips and some other stuff and then I'll talk to you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, I got wrapping paper because me and Josh bought some wrapping paper and we actually forgot it in his car and he's at work right now and I wanna wrap presents while he's at work. So I just bought another one. It was like $3, whatever. Um, and then I bought some envelopes and some tape because today I am going to wrap presents, like I said, and I need tape. I also need tape just for like, um, okay, so I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. So I'm obviously driving. And yesterday I woke up with like a bunch of flooded DMs about how I'm bullying, like, Stephanie, Sue, I don't even know, I don't even, I've never even watched one of her videos, like, to be honest with you, very pretty girl, seems very sweet, grind and hard, love her, respect her, I have never bullied her, I have no idea, like, the situation, I know Nick's side, obviously I'm his best friend, he tells me everything, I know Nick's side, um, obviously I did not know Stephanie's, I don't know her, I don't know what happened behind closed doors, I wasn't there, I literally left LA, and me and Nick's collabs were done, before all of that even started, so for people to be coming to my DMs and saying like, you're bullying her, or how dare you, like, do this, that, and the other, I have no idea what's happening, I have not bullied her, I have not said anything about her, um, this is my first time talking about her, and I, um, don't know. Honestly, like, I don't know. Um, obviously, I'm not here to pick sides at any means because uh, this is YouTube. And I also am, like, even though I'm 21 and, like, I'm pretty young, I also feel like I'm pretty mature for my age. And I genuinely, like, I feel like the only drama I've been on YouTube is, like, with my ex-boyfriend. Like, I put myself in, like, that was my own drama. I've never been in other people's. I've never had someone come at me. So, I don't really know. Obviously, Nick is my best friend, so my opinion, obviously, is probably going to be biased. Um, but at the same time, I'm also a girl, and I get exactly what Stephanie's saying. And obviously, in my opinion, I don't think any of them are wrong. Um, I watched Trisha's video, and some of the stuff I agree with that, that Trisha said, especially knowing Nick. Like, she knows Nick, I know Nick. I don't think any of their opinions are wrong, and I don't think that their perception of the situation is wrong. I th honestly could see both sides. Like I said, I only knew Nick's side, but after watching Stephanie's video, I know Stephanie's side now. And in all honesty, like, if she feels that way, she feels that way. Um, personally, I know Nick, and there's been times where I haven't wanted to talk about something on camera, or I accidentally have talked about something on camera and I and we go like this and that basically means like edit it out and same
same with Nick. Like, he has done stuff on my channel where he, like, after he's like, Carly, edit that out, edit that out. And then he trusts me enough to actually edit it out and not post it because they're usually things that will get us canceled or something like that. So, I trust Nick and I know that he would never force me to talk about something I did not want to talk about. But at the same time, I know Nick way better than Stephanie and Nick know each other. And me and Nick have a totally different friendship than Stephanie and Nick. I don't even know if they have like what's called like an actual friendship. I don't know. I don't know anything about them, but yeah. That's just where I have to say. I'm not saying that he didn't do whatever, but I know Nick's intentions and that's just, I'm just going to say that. I know Nick's intentions and I know Nick would never purposely try and make somebody feel that way. And I know that Nick has a good, good, good heart and his intentions are always good and I trust him with everything. He's the only YouTuber that I actually tell everything to. And I think the same thing goes to him with me. Like, we know stuff about each other that could probably end each other's career in one second. But, like, we've been friends for so long and trust each other so much that that would never happen. And whenever I, I have been on Nick's channel and we talk about something that I wasn't comfortable with, I'd be like, hey, Nick, like, can you edit that out? Like, or let's not talk about it. And he'd be like, okay, no problem. He would never, like, pressure me to talk about it. Um, but like I said, I am comfortable enough with Nick to be like, hey, I don't want to talk about that. Whereas Stephanie might not be. Um, but Nick would never just make something up and just start, like, yapping and being like, you have to talk about this. Um, at least not with me. So, I, like I said, I don't know the situation. I get both points and I feel for both of them. Um, obviously, I'm going to be here for Nick and call him and support him because that's my best friend. I don't know Stephanie. Obviously, if she reached out to me, I would probably, like, be, like, super nice to her and, like, help her out or do whatever but you know um there's only like so much i could do not oh my gosh there was a cop watching me and like i got really nervous uh i hate like when cops drive past me i get so nervous for some reason Sorry for being distracted right now, guys. I'm trying to follow my GPS without killing myself. <laughs> and without crashing, so. Um, where am I supposed to park? I hate driving downtown. I can never live in like LA or new york or somewhere where it's like constantly people walking one-way streets no parking like i couldn't like i drive downtown once in a while in my city and it like it gives me so much anxiety because there's like people walking there's one ways i'm like is this a one way i don't know obviously there's signs but like still like i'll know like there'll be no signs for it to be a one way but it will look like a one way and i'm like wait <laughs> did i miss a sign mm, is there any parking on the street right now See, this stuff, like, freaks me out. Like, where am I? No parking anywhere there? Where am I? Ah! Okay, wait, there's a parking meter there, but it says no parking, so I don't get it. Like, where am I? Like, I would love to know. Anyways, um, yeah. I don't know anyone's side. I don't, I mean, I do. I know Nick's side. I watched Stephanie's side, and right now I'm just, like, chilling. Like, I don't, so please just, like, stop coming at me. Like, I know I'm a girl, and I would never bully another female on YouTube. Like, that's just not a thing that I would never do. Um, I, I'm a bitch, but will I ever be a bitch to another girl? No. 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. Oh, wait, fuck. One two oh four. One two oh four. One two oh four. One two oh four. One two oh four.
anyways guys um yeah so I just want to say that little thing because I'm really tired of getting DMs and messages and like comments on my video where it's like you're bullying someone and I'm like oh my god I didn't know I was bullying someone oh my gosh this spark parking space doesn't start till 9 a.m. does it is it free right now then is parking free then right now Because it doesn't say I can't park here. No way. Do I have free parking right now? I don't know. See, I hate downtown. Like, if I get a ticket, I'm a freak. Anyways, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I think it is. People are parking and leaving. Okay, bye. Guys, when I tell you that I am having the most stressful morning of all time, I am not lying. I... I'm so stressed my brain is completely scattered like I have so much to do tomorrow today especially like I have to wrap presents I have to I'm gonna like make dinner for Josh's family tomorrow and I'm gonna have to make mac and cheese and potatoes and marinate chicken breast and do all this stuff and like to be honest with you where the fuck am I that blows on perfect. to be honest with you I don't know if I have time. I still have to edit today's vlog, which I'm filming right now. Upload that. Um, oh my god, I feel so overwhelmed and like stressed and scared and I... Oh, it's so stressful, it's so stressful, it's so stressful. Especially because I think one of the main problems is that my printer like doesn't really work. It kind of works, but not really. It like... It only connects sometimes and then it doesn't connect other times. It's really weird. It's kind of like a hit or miss kind of thing. And so that's kind of irritating. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to work that when I get home. But yeah, I'm just really stressed. I've pro like I've been dealing with papers and like I know this sounds really like stupid. But like I feel like nobody uses a printer anymore. Especially nowadays like with my job everything's online. Especially because like all the sponsorships that I do are like across the world. Um, so they just send me an email and then I sign online and then I send them back like on DocuSign. And with these I have to like print them out and like staple them and like write on them and it's just like and have them in order and they're all like 30 pages long. It's just really confusing and my printer is not being nice with me during it at all. So I'm just really stressed today, um, but everything is going to go good, and by the end of the day, I'm going to feel so good that all of this is out of my way, and hopefully I feel better. Hopefully. Oh, I think I'm going to listen to some music and just, like, calm down, because... <sighs> okay, so most of the stressful stuff that I needed to get done is done today. The only thing is like I still have to wrap presents and stuff like that, but that can all be done later tonight. Um, so I think I'm going to go upstairs and start meal prepping for tomorrow. I have sushi coming because I'm really craving sushi. Like I just really want sushi. I only have sushi cravings every once in a while, but right now I have sushi cravings, which is so weird. I must have saw it somewhere or something. Um, so I ordered myself sushi. Honestly, you know when you have like a stressful day and you're like, I just deserve to eat like what I want to eat and like I feel like I just deserve to like sit down and like just watch a video and just eat sushi and not think about things that I have to do today because as you get older you start to think about the stuff you need to do every day and it starts to become like really stressful and overwhelming and it feels like your brain is never relaxed um, like today as I'm doing one thing I'm thinking about the next thing I have to do and then the next thing after that and then how can I be most efficient with my time and it just becomes really overwhelming especially during the holidays when you have to like please everyone else and you kind of put yourself last so I think honestly I'm gonna have a bath the house is a mess right now to be completely honest with you but that's my least priority thing and that's what I really really thank Josh for is he always says what needs to be done what is the most important thing that needs to be done do that and then go down the list and that's what I do. this zit is really hurting and there was a white head on it yesterday like I should have popped it but I didn't pop it but I'm glad I didn't pop it because I don't want there to be a scar right there but um it doesn't hurt or anything I mean it hurts when I push on it but anyways um yeah so Whew. Um, Josh really helps me with like prioritizing like what needs to be done now do what has to be done now 
And so I did the most important thing, and I guess the second important thing was ordering sushi. <laughs> no, um, the next important thing is to meal prep for tomorrow. So I have to prep some potatoes and some mac and cheese and stuff like that. And I know you guys liked when I like fast forwarded me making fajitas. Um, and a lot of like literally one of the top comments were like, Carly, you should do like meal prepping videos or do this more often, like show your cooking. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I make my mac and cheese and how I make my potatoes and I'll just fast forward it. And yeah, so let's go upstairs and let's start meal prepping. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa Cause I don't 